Hello there everyone and welcome back for another map mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hassenberger XL map version 1.0. File size for this map is 159.65 megabytes. Now this is what I would consider a 2x map. It has 11 huge rectangular and square fields. So what I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding this map. We'll go over and take a look at your starting fleet then we will take a tour. So let's get started. Okay, here we are over on the map. This will be your starting position right here. Once again, this is the Hassenberger XL map version 1.0. Fall size for this is 159.65 megabytes and there is no errors in the log. There's 11 huge square and rectangular fields on this map. You only have one field to start off with. Prices and sizes will go over momentarily. There is no multi-fruit on this map and there's five different cell points so there's an emphasis on farming on this map. There is no forestry. Zoom that down a little bit so you can see yeah there's not many fields. There's only 11 but look at the size of these. Now these fields range from 30 hectares to 80 hectares guys and they are a lot of money. So he does recommend that you use the money cheat because you only start with this and it's going to cost you quite a bit of money just to even buy this field here. As you can see, there's no extra fruit types there, unfortunately. Let's go over here. There is your five different cell points right there. You don't, don't have any animals to start. You have a few contracts to start. Field 7 will cost you 1150200 So, you are you know, that's over a million dollars just right there. And Field 2, this one right here, costs 9163231 So, just to give you a basic idea of field size, Field 11, right here, is 10.59 hectares, and field 5, this, this one here, this one's pretty big, this is 53.05 hectares. So there's some added notes I just want to go over here. This is going to take one hour to download, guys, so if you're impatient, you might want to overlook this mod, but it's over on uploaded.net, I do believe, so just be patient. Let it download in the background. Watch a couple YouTube videos or something, you know what I mean? Just let it go. You don't have to watch it download, but uh, if you're willing to wait the, the hour, it is a fairly nice map. Like I said, the fields range from 30 hectares to 80 hectares. The money cheat is recommended to get a better start on this map, and there is no forestry, unfortunately go over and we'll take a look at your starting fleet hit the garage here we do have a, f a nice vent here we have the 943 MT we also have a John Deere 8400 R we have a case CVX 380 and a Fent 1038 nice you get a pretty good starting fleet here you also have a John Deere 7250 R got a couple of semis here the Lizard Warrior we have a case combine as well as a John Deere combine. We have two large tippers. We have a medium sized tipper and an auger wagon. Got a couple of headers for our combines. We have a couple of cultivators here, some cedars. This is a liquid fertilizer sprayer. There is a header trailer as well as all kinds of weights. One, two, three, four, at least four weights there. Five. Five weight so that is your starting fleet pretty generous starting fleet that'll get you going for sure so you might want to cheat in some money as well okay so like I said you start right here we get a couple of uh, ramps here that you can drive your vehicle up and do some repairs <laughs> that's pretty neat you get a look at it underneath this is your main farm let's take a look at that map again so basically yeah everything is located centrally right here I like how everything's surrounding your farm. So there is a BGA on this map as well. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot to see on this map. Your uh, sage work and your animal dealership is up top there. And there's five different customers spread around the map. Let's get a little vantage point here. Get a look at your main yard. Got a couple more vehicle ramps over here. Is that one of your tractors there? Let's get the speed going here. Yes sir, that's cool. Weight already on it, nice. Looks like you can sell your vehicles there as well. That's cool. Put them up on the ramp and sell them. There is your drop off and your pickup for your grain. There's this little dirt roads that connect all these. Look at the size of these fields, guys. Very hilly terrain too. Get some nice vehicle storage there. I don't know if that's a water tower or what. Some more vehicle storage around here. So this is gonna be your central spot. 
right in the middle of the map. Got a couple of your semis all hooked up, ready to go over here. So where is the one field that we do own? It's quite down far away, isn't it? Okay, so we'll get a good look at the farm here before we leave. There's all kinds of these wind turbines everywhere around this map. So let's go over and take a look at this guy here. So yeah, I have 5x speed going right now. So you can see how long it's taking me to go around across the map. So I, I would consider this a 2x map. Okay, get a drop off in there. Very nice. Okay, let's make our way around the map. Take a look at some of these fields. Yeah, there is no forestry at all. So, these fields are huge. You're going to need a fleet of combines to keep this going. Look at all that cotton. Got a silage bunker over here. All kinds of grass on this map too. Okay, we're coming up to the downtown core. <laughs> Not much of a core, but you can sell your wood and your wood chips up here as well. And you can buy your animals here too. So there's kind of two triggers here. Let's take a look at that. So if you go over right over to this trigger, I got my flying mod on here. So you can see sell wood. But if you come over here a couple of inches and go down. There's the animal. There it is. Open animal dialogue. So you can buy your animals right there. It's a green drop off right there. Let's bring up the map again and we'll work our way south. Look at the size of these fields. Bird yellow. So here is your one and only field. It's quite far from your main farm. That'll get you going at first look. Oh, there's nothing planted here. It looks like there's a lime down. So you'll have to get that started. You got all this grass here you can cut. There is the BGA down below. Got your silage bunkers and your silage drop off. Oh, what's this? Potatoes. That's a lot of potatoes. Cool. Okay, we already seen that, so we'll just bring it back to the main farm here. We got a uh, little pond down below. You can get some water. So an overall, pretty nice map, pretty simple map. Definitely uh, for those who love harvesting and taking care of the fields, I would definitely recommend this one, especially with no errors in the log. So there you have it, guys. That was the Hassenberger XL map version 1.0. File size for that is 159.65 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. Then click on the subscribe button and the bell. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.